Hello YouTube, my name is Adnan and I'm going to be reviewing three different uh, brands of jackets, same style. They're all fly style, bomber style jacket. And uh, the first one is from Banana Republic, that will be about $400. The next one is from Thursday Boot and that's about $425. And the last one is Satchel and Page, which is about $695. So the purpose of this video is just to, you know, show the differences between the jackets. I have been in the market to try, you know, to find the best leather jacket that I can find for the money. And I wanted to just give my opinion and thoughts, maybe I'll help you out. So with that, we'll go into a little bit deep. All right, let me walk you through some of the details of each jacket. Um, so the three that I'm reviewing today are, you know, there's one from Banana Republic Factory. Uh, don't mind this express symbol. This is, Banana Republic Factory. The next one is the Thursday Boot. And then the last one is Satchel and Page. So they're all are the flight style jacket, bomber style. And so we'll look at a little bit details of each. So first, in terms of the styling, uh, Banana Republic is one of my favorite one. Um, fit, I'll show that later. Uh, all these are, this is size large, this is size large, and this is extra large. Um, but in terms of a, a make, uh, leather type, there's no description on the Banana Republic and the Thursday boot uh, from the Satchel page. That one is a sheepskin. In terms of collar, these two, the Banana Republic and the Thursday boot, they're not removable. But in the Satchel and page, it's a removable. They've got uh, some attachment points all the way around, so you can remove it. Now going back to the styling, I like the you know the look a lot on the Banana Republic. That's one of my favorite. It's got the straps around here, uh, nice big pockets with the buttons. Um, you can actually put the hands from the side. The color is nice too. The feel is not the best on the leather, but it's still pretty good. Um, Thursday boot feels the cheapest and this one Satchel and Page feels the most uh, expensive and luxurious all right so all three have these you know rib bottom and on the sleeve too uh, let's look at the back of Banana Republic so very simple design standard you know, it's got a stitching here, stitching going down. Now look at the Thursday boot. Um, I mean, it's got the nice, you know, the fur is kind of the nicest one between the three. Uh, the only thing is not removable. Uh, the feel is just, I was expecting it to be a little bit better, but it just feels cheap. It's soft, but it just feels cheap. I just feel like it's just gonna get ripped pretty easily. The pockets looks pretty good. Uh, the ribs, you know, that looks really good. So, similar design, the buttons. I would prefer, uh, you know, the plastic buttons. Like the logo in there, that's nice. Let's look at the back. It doesn't have the top stream, but it has one, you know, uh, so yeah, this one doesn't have the top um, stitching. So this one doesn't have the top stitching, but it has the vertical stitching. It looks pretty good from the side. Um, overall, I mean, decent design. Doesn't feel expensive or, I don't know, there's something about it. Okay, now we look at the satchel and page. <clears throat> it's got the, you know, the best quality leather between the three. Uh, similar design in terms of ribbing. It's got the, you know, the buttons I don't like. I'm not, I prefer plastic. <clears throat> the strap is nice. It's got a nice, you know, big zipper. Uh, in terms of lining though, that's one thing I didn't mention on all three, but got the cotton lining inside so that's pretty nice all the way through uh, very good material for the banana republic 
is actually nice quilted type and I'll go into detail when I'm you know, showing it on, trying it on um, it's nice quilted one the worst one is on the Thursday boot, it's just a plain silk material that's it alright so the details on this it's got a nice little flap here too um, like I mentioned you can remove this in the back let's check it out it's got the nice little belt around here it's got these gusseting feature to have your arm move around freely uh, and then last thing I'll mention between the differences before we get to try these on is just the colors so I think my camera with the lighting is showing pretty close to actual colors or the colors you know you would get in the pictures so the first one is more uh, brownish uh, this one is darker brown I think these two are pretty close but you can see from this angle is you can see from here there are three different shades of brown so I would say my favorite in terms of color is the Banana Republic um, it's just you know that's what I was expecting out of the Bombard jacket but we'll try these on we'll see how these fit all right Okay, so the first one I'm going to try on is the Banana Republic. You know, I am about 190 pounds, 5'11". And uh, this one is, you know, I got it in a large, size large. And let's see how that fits. Uh, it looks pretty baggy. If you check out their website, you know, all the pictures kind of looks like they're going to be baggy. So, and I think that's what it looks like here. It's, you know, I'm going to try to zip it up here and see how it works. Um, I mean, overall the style, I love the style, you know, these flaps, I love the pockets and the buttons, the color is nice, the ribs are okay, but, uh, you know, look at this, this is just too much material for me, so with that, uh, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this fit, so, okay, next up we'll go into, uh, you know, trying on the Thursday boot, so again, I ordered the size uh, large on this, um, I haven't even taken out the tag on this so I'll try these off. So, like I, I think I mentioned that the material feels a little cheap on this, uh, but let's see the fit. I think the fit uh, does look pretty, pretty good. Um, let me just back it up just a little bit. I think the pockets are in the right location where they should be. Um, I think the only thing I have, you know, I don't like personally, is the um, the thinness of the material. The other thing I don't like is the, you know, the collar don't come off because sometimes you know I would like to have these lifted up, uh, but I don't know if they look good with this foam. But that's, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, overall, I like the fit. I like the way it's made. The ribs are awesome. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the, it's just the feel of the material. It feels pretty thin and cheap. Okay, so the last one we'll try on is the Satchel and Page. Right off the bat, you can see the color is a little different. And I will try these on. I mean, the liner, everything is so nice on this. The material is really nice. I'm going to leave the collar down with the fur, and I'll remove the collar uh, and show you how that looks. Let me just turn that back. Zip this up. So I think this does fit pretty good. Uh, the only thing, the only concern I have with this one is the sleeves looks a little too long. Maybe that's just uh, just me. But you know, overall, it's the softest leather fits the best. Um, and with the you know far up. It still looks pretty good, and you know, you can leave it open if you like, close it, and let me take the fur off and then we'll try Okay, so now I've removed the collar on this, 
And I uh, just wanted to show you how that looks like without the, you know, fart in there. Uh, I think it looks still pretty good. Uh, you can, you know, close the flap, walk around with your hand in the pocket. Um, you can open up this. And I think it looks just still, looks pretty awesome. So, I would say this Satchel and Page is probably one of my favorite jackets out of the three. And I'm not sure which one you prefer. Uh, but just want to give my thoughts and opinion on this jacket and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.